Edgar Berlanga This kid is a real puncher. He won 17 fights and 16 of them by knockout in the first round. He is a real power in the super middleweight division. And who knows, maybe in a few years he will beat the champion Canelo Alvarez. And a big left hand landed that still has Nunes legs wobbly as Berlanga again with the left hand. You can just see the eyes of Berlanga, he's staying at a, at a higher vantage point, seeing everything coming his way and just countering everything. A nice left uppercut lands to the body of Nunes. And the right hand as Berlanga smiles. Yeah, you can see it in his eyes, he knows he's got his man in a good position right now. I've seen from Cesar Nunez, though, he's a very tough guy, very capable, he's durable. He is, and he went down for the second time in round... And he does it. Moon comes right out to meet Berlanga in the center of the ring. Trey, he's got that thud to his punch, too. Yeah, he's not even throwing it hard. Berlanga's just shooting the shots. He's just putting them out there, and they land heavy because he's a heavy to say he's either going to get me or I'm going to get him, or that's a game plan because you think you saw something. I think Body move about the power right of Berlanga. Chris Colbert. Colbert's impressive blend of style makes him one of the hottest prospects today. He has a record 16 wins, no losses and many fans see him as the new Floyd Mayweather Jr. They're both so young in their careers, and to be able to match up against one another is a very big risk, but both of them... Um, Delay is going to try to make a move, you know, he just it out. Nice shot, like 7 0. It was actually a part of a Netflix documentary that followed around. Articulate. He said, Look, boxing is a business. I want to get out of here when I'm 34, 35, and I have all my faculties showing that he is the superior ring general, at least through the first three rounds plus. Another straight right hand. Along with the hand speed, he's giving him issues, and what a left hook. That you know, throwing hooks, body shots. He's pretty much just picking his shots as he wants to do right now. Nice shot, left hook by Colbert. And they are in close distance. An uppercut by Colbert, and a left. And a big shot, down goes Dulea. Virgil Ortiz. This young man is a hard-hitting welterweight with power in both hands. In 2021, he finished some very good and skillful boxers such as Maurice Hooker and Egas Kavalaskis. And in all of his 18 fights, he won by knockout. In the near future, he will be a very good opponent for Spence and Crawford. Execution power. Oh, there execution. you see it. The left. And Salgado was just thinking of opening up and throwing a punch. Your team, you know, Salgado stepping in against a young. Ooh, nice body. Two up and coming cross. Yep, and you see the uh, punch that number is there. Oh, nice percentage for Virgil Ortiz. They do what he always does and finish his guy before the nine minute mark. Nice left hook to the liver, and down goes Salgado. He says a young man has promise. Ryan Garcia. Garcia is a reflexive fighter with a lightning fast counter left hook. In January, he finished Luke Campbell, and now he is one of the scariest people in lightweight and one of the most popular boxers in all weight categories. Being sort of overwhelmed against the ropes, I thought at a technical knockdown. Let's get another angle of it. Big right hand. He did land on the temple that will affect a fighter's equilibrium. Five. 
see just by the way he boxes, low left hand, likes to show the roll, lead with a lot of hooks, hand speed. And, and there he goes, Gers, my survival mode. Well, Macias has been stopped numerous times. Uh, this is nothing that new That stung him, him and it and is over. Oh. A first round KO for Ryan Garcia. Survival mode. Well, Macias has been stopped numerous times. Uh, this is nothing that new That stung him, him and it and is oh. over. A first round. And it grazed you off the temple. the chin and just the way that he fell. Jaron Ennis. Coming from a boxing family, Ennis has been blessed with innate abilities inside the ring. Almost in all of his fights, he finished his opponents in less than six rounds. Another very skillful welter. I would love to watch him fight against the best boxers of the division. Hasn't been uh, stopped a lot. We, uh, came, we came right on the air. That was just the appetizer. Oh, Alvarez is in trouble. Left hand. The gap in talent and natural ability here is just yeah. huge. Left hook to the body. Just dropped him to a knee. Thank you for watching, fight fans. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel.